Hey folks, welcome to 2021 Christmas Eve. We are just minutes away from Christmas Day, and it's time to judge the 2021 Christmas light war between me and my neighbors. What started all of this, just to go back in time a little bit? The neighborhood we live in now used to be one of the more, let's say, affluent neighborhoods back when I was a kid, back in the 60s. So every Christmas Eve, we'd go out, and Dad would put us all in the car, all five boys, and we'd go look at the Christmas lights while Mom laid out Christmas as if Santa Claus came. So looking at Christmas lights has been family tradition going back, oh, every bit of 55 plus years. Long story short, this was one of the neighborhoods you would come to. Uh, they could afford Christmas lights more than most people in a neighborhood that was basically blue collar. So, I'm trying to recreate that. Ever since I've been on the hill here, I've put out some Christmas lights of some sort, and I'm trying to get the neighbors involved. And it seems like the bug is starting to catch. So last year we started a Christmas contest between me and one other neighbor. And I got ganged up on because she had one of her buddies, another, my actual next door neighbor, jumped on the bandwagon with her and loaded her up with all kinds of inflatables to fill her yard out. So that made me have to up my game for this year. Anyway, my next door neighbor's involved, the original uh, competitor, uh, the young lady across the street from us, she's still involved. I'm going to keep going. And uh, these will be the three to be judging from. So leave your comments down below. Let us know who won. And uh, the winner gets a bottle of whiskey. I love bourbon. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in a second. Okay, folks. Here we go. This is contestant number one. And as you recall from last year. Car coming. I'm out for traffic. So as you can tell from last year. The plethora of inflatables are no longer here, but she still has some. And this year she went a little heavy with the lights. As you can see along the driveway, we have a bit of a party foul as some lights seem to come down. Even though they're lit, they're not properly in their stands. Personally, if I was judging this, I'd take points off. But she did an excellent job with the lighting. I'll let my assistant here swarm across the front yard here and give you a good look. Then we're going to cut the film and go on to house number two. Okay, folks, this is contestant number two. And as you can see, the inflatables that you saw on last year's contest that were in the front yard of contestant number one are now back to their home base where they belong. Unfortunately, it seems to be lacking a few lights. But I do like the way the lights show up against the house. Kind of a lazy man's Christmas decoration, if you will. The sad part about it is, is that my cameraman will come over here. My camera woman, person, will be correct about all of this. If you look up over the hill, you will see about a 12-foot Santa Claus that has fallen over. Now, I did not sabotage that. It just fell. I don't know why it fell. I'm probably going to fix it after I get done with this video. But again, if I was judging, I'd deduct points. But he's in the mood. Okay, folks. Here's the last and best of it all. We're going into my place now. Many of I put a little bit of effort into this, although we're kind of lacking theme. But I think even in the lack of theme, we make up for it with... Abundance. We'll start with that. Entropy. Entropy. Follow me. As we mosey down the street, first thing we see, this is Mandy Bar here. Christmas skeletons. You can see the two are actually lighting the one in the middle, and everybody seems to be okay with that. Not a bad gig. And the second thing, on the other side of the tree, is the first building of what I'm calling my Christmas village. I'm building this village up, and before everything's said and done, 
I uh, should have about five, maybe six houses up there, a uh, store, you know, just a typical Christmas village. Uh, these will be for sale, by the way. On to our next thing. Now, every kid that ever saw a certain cartoon known as the Minions, you'll notice at the start of the movie, there's a big T-Rex being followed by a horde of Minions. Well, we don't have a T-Rex blow up, but we do have a Christmas dragon. And he's being followed by his little Christmas minions. And that's not enough. You can't just put a bunch of inflatables up. That's kind of like taking the cheater's way out. So let's walk up the driveway and see what else we have. I decided to put some multi-flood multi floodlights up here, a couple floodlights, and they're multi-light, they change naturally. Put some nice little ambiance on things, I think. What's the point of having a driveway if you can't light the driveway up and know where you're driving in the middle of the night? Our street lights don't always work. Up on the outside and the side of the house, I thought it'd be a good idea to highlight in red since all the cast iron that I have lit is in red. If all the cast iron is lit in red, what a good place to put a red and white lit Christmas tree. Make it official like. We go further up. Now I'd be the first to tell you that there's a horde of wires going to and from across that road, that uh, front porch area, as if it's a highway of wires. I blew out three GFIs and replaced four sockets, uh, receptacles, just to get this thing lit up. But we've got every window lit in the front, we've got the rail lit in the back. You can see all the dancing lights through the yard, but we're not done. Follow me. Now, it wouldn't be fair to have everybody that drives by the front of the house to see the lights and our neighbors to the back get none of the reward. So as you can see, I decided to put a little lighting in the back. And as an added bonus, it uh, does something kind of neat. Let's see if I can get it to go here. Yes, it too changes colors. It doesn't say stuck. But for the meantime, since it's Christmas, we're going to leave it on red for Christmas. Because I just think that's the way to go. So anyway, that's the light show for 2021. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments below. Tell us who won. Thanks for playing. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.